How do you choose between a tropical girl or a tropical drink? I don't know, but the decision is a chick or Rita. Bike Chain Starters, Episode 6, Chikorita. What's going on? I'm Pokewelder Zach, and today we're making Chikorita out of bike chains. Before we get started, I'd like to let you know that when this video hits 1,000 likes, I'll be doing a giveaway to one person from the comment section below. So, if you enjoyed the joke at the beginning, go ahead and leave your favorite thing about Chikorita. Or, if you have better jokes, I would love to hear them. So, again, drop those in the comment section below, like the video, and let's get started on the build. Alright, we're going to kick it off with a set of raw bike chains and Chikorita in the corner here. These middle two links here are for the center of Chikorita, and they're going to be too smaller size to fill out the main body of Chikorita. Now, this was the initial design, but I ended up taking the two middle chains out and replacing them with the same side links uh, in a final design. Again, the rest of these parts here are for the legs and for the uh, leaf on top of Chikorita's head. All these additional one little pieces here are going to be used for the leaf. Uh, so we're going to take that first chain and we're going to start shaping it up to get a I guess sort of bean type shape. I'm not really sure what Chikorita is based off, but it's it's basically a lima bean. Um, this rod I have in the side here is used to help line up the uh, two middle pieces. And again, I do end up taking these out and replacing them with a smaller piece, but this is how I can help uh, sort of keep them together um, so that they end up being the same size and can line up well. We quickly tack all of the pieces together. Uh, it only needs a little bit because the bike chains are pretty thin. Uh, and now we add on those smaller, uh, smaller links to the side. Uh, just a smaller little lima bean. Um, and this is the piece that I end up going with for the final design. And I just take out the middle portions and add in, uh, again, one of these smaller ones. So we put in the rod, line them up, and quickly tack them so that we can get two, uh, two symmetrical pieces. Clean them up so that when we put them on there, we'll have a flat side to weld, and we can again hide hide some of those welds so we get the clean bike chain on the outside. We tack the smaller pieces onto the middle, and again, you can see where those two middle pieces uh, were initially being used um, to create a kind of thick body. Here we're going to lay out the different legs, and because I wanted to give him sort of sort of pointier legs, I just slightly separate the chains out. To give him sort of those little symmetrical triangle legs. Uh, we'll go through and just briefly tack them. Uh, these pieces are especially difficult because they are really thin um, and so I have to be careful not to burn through on them. This is where I ended up deciding to switch over to the uh, bigger design so we use an extra four piece to fill in the side and then at the end I'll end up taking the middle two pieces out and replacing it with one of those side ones. Today, I'm here to talk to you about Patreon and how you can unlock new and exclusive bonus content. You see, Patreon is where I release updates, exclusive content, and host special events. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead and check it out in the description below. I want to give a big thank you to all my current patrons, and with that, let's get back to the video. Alright, we're going to keep going and time to add the legs onto the main body here. So we are going to just quickly tack them. Again, got to be very careful, just very, very short, light tacks uh, just to connect them on. And then once I can make sure that the body is, uh, you know, where I want it to stand, I go back through and add a few additional tacks to secure them on. So for here, we're adding the leaf on top of his head. This is the main stem. Uh, I end up clenching the end piece there just to close it up. And then I take a lot of these little single uh, single links for the bike chains uh, and tack them on overlapping so that we can create a, uh, to create a leaf. This design changed a little bit from the initial one. Uh, initially they sort of spread out and with this particular design, I uh, have them a lot closer in. So the leaves sort of point to a, come to a point uh, instead of flailing outwards. And I really think that that design particularly worked better. Uh, the final little pieces of welding are going to be adding on Chikorita's uh, sort of beads or seeds around its neck. These are also used with single link chains uh, that have the, it's the other side that has the little uh, indents coming off them. 
Uh, and this just gives it a little more body and shape. So final steps here, going ahead and cleaning it up, using the angle grinder with a ceramic disc to get the main stuff uh, smoothed down and finishing off with the Dremel and a grinding bit to get all the finer details uh, and the spots that the angle grinder cannot reach. Um, I really think that this is sort of what finishes off each of the sculptures because it does smooth smooth things down. Um, some, of the, some of the welds do get a little bit more difficult. So this is where uh, I ended up taking Chikorita apart. You can see the left side, the right side, and the middle portion. And so we get a little camouflage Chikorita there. Now it's a lot smaller and, in my opinion, much cuter design. Um, finishing it off with some paint now. Chikorita is mostly one color, so it's pretty easy. Uh, and we just mixed up some greens and whites to get the, a nice, nice paint color for the leaf. Um, this will be used for the top leaf and stem. Uh, whereas we'll use a slightly different green for the neck seeds. Got to get inside the leaf and make sure every little bit is covered here. And yep, we go back and uh, experiment with a few different colors here because they are uh, a slightly different color. Um, right now we're using a sort of light green, had a little bit more white into it. Uh, I wasn't a huge fan of this particular color and so I actually end up going back through with a, a more yellow green um, to finish it off. So there we have it. You can see the little neck seeds are a little yellower now. Um, the middle portion is now three links instead of four and that is the final design for Chikorita. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to drop a comment below for a chance to win a free Chikorita sculpture. I would also love to hear any of your thoughts about the video or the design, so just drop them below, questions, comments, or anything you'd like to learn about welding or the design process. Stay tuned, because next week we'll be kicking off Hoenn with Torchic. Until then, signing off with a toe smile.